Hello everybody, Roger here, and welcome to my channel, Roger's Reads. So today I'm going to do, I think it's part four of my bookshelf tour, and as usual I'll just go through a couple of shelves, uh, show the book, maybe talk about it briefly, and then uh, then move on. Yeah, so hopefully I'll get through two shelves today, and then uh, next time, <laughs> part five. Uh, yeah, so let's get cracking. Okay, this first book is entitled Sister and Brother, Lesbians and Gay Men Write About Their Lives Together. And this is edited by Joe Nessel and John Preston. This book is entitled The Protectors by Dave Brown. It's a Legend of the Golden Feather series. And uh, this is what? This is actually book two. What if I have book one? Anyway, this is a, if I remember correctly, this is a really fun, silly uh, a gay series. Uh, and I really enjoyed it. This book's entitled Silver Saddles by Cap Iverson. And this is book two in the Dakota series. And I actually have book two and three here, but I don't have book one. And here we have Rattler, also by Cap Iverson, part of the Dakota series. And this is book three. Now I'll probably have book one down in a downstairs bookshelf, which I'll have to get in a future tour video. And here we have a little paperback entitled Body Blows. And this is written by Stephen Simmons. And if you remember, this is a fun gay murder mystery. And here I have A Single Man by Christopher Isherwood. And this is another one of those books that I have in paperback with teeny tiny little print that I know I will never reread. So I probably should trade this up for a better version. And here I have A Map of the Harbor Islands by J.G. Hayes. What's funny about this book is shortly after it was published, the publisher went out of business. So this book is very hard to find. And I actually saw it going on eBay for like 600 bucks. So um, yeah, I'm going to hang on to this one. Anybody want to buy it? And this book's entitled Aquamarine by Mal Keegan. And uh, this was a fun uh, gay themed story as well. Actually, we read this for uh, one of my in-person book clubs several years ago. And, uh, and I remember everybody really enjoyed it, so I may uh, be due for a reread down the road. Okay, so now I have a trilogy, the uh, Stonewild Trilogy by Kit Berry. And the first is The Magus of Stonewild. Next I have Solstice at Stonewild. And I'm not sure if this is the correct order or not. Uh, it's been a while since I've read them, so I no longer remember. And the third here is Moondance of Stonewild. And here I have We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. And I just read this uh, this year, actually. Next I have The Persian Boy by Mary Renault. I think this was published in the 80s or maybe 90s. I have to check. Maybe even earlier than that. But this is about Alexander the Great told from the, told from the point of view of his lover. Kind of like um, The Song of Achilles, which I just read by Madeline Miller. Okay, now we have some fun books. This is The Case of the Good for Nothing Girlfriend by Mabel Maney. And this is a book in the Nancy Clue and Hardly Boys series. And uh, the Mabel Maney books are so much fun. Here's another Mabel Maney book, A Ghost in the Closet. And here we have another Nancy Clue mystery by Mabel Maney, The Case of the Not-So-Nice Nurse. T.C. Boyle, The Inner Circle. And here we have Coyote Blue by Christopher Moore. Um, yeah, my big, I'm a huge fan of Christopher Moore. I love his books. This wasn't my favorite by him, though, but it was fun. Here we have Mardi Gras Mambo by Greg Heron. And here we have Ghost Kisses, Gothic Gay Romance Stories. And here we have a book <laughs> entitled Very Rude Limericks, which I received as a gift. <laughs> and let me tell you, the limericks are very, very rude. And here I have a book entitled Porno by Irvine Welsh. Ah, here's a, the missing book in the Dakota series by Cap Iverson. This one's entitled Arson, and this is book one. And here I have Treasures on Earth by Carter Wilson. And here I have an R.L. Stein book entitled The Hand of Power. I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore by Ethan Morden. And Ethan Morden, he's among my uh, favorite authors as well. And he wrote a whole slew of gay-themed novels. Speaking of favorite authors, Neil Gaiman is another one. And here I have a collection of uh, short stories entitled Fragile Things. And if I remember correctly, these are really twisted and scary short stories. Another book by Irvine Welsh, If You Like School, You'll Love Work. Many years ago, I was uh, on, a, on a screenplay click kick there for a while and I ended up buying a whole bunch of them. And here's one I purchased called Equus by Keith Peter Schaefer. A Little Mass Market Paperback by Edmund White, The Beautiful Room is Empty. 
and again, teeny tiny print that I will never reread. So, so I probably should pass this on and consider getting a larger version of this. And here we have a book entitled B-Boy Blues by James Earl Hardy. And here we have a teeny tiny little book entitled Two Hearts Desire. And uh, this is Gay Couples on Their Love. This is one of those anthologies. And here we have Two Gentlemen Sharing by William Corlett. And this was a super funny book. And actually this is another one of those books that we read for my book club and uh, everybody really enjoyed. Full of zany, zany characters, if I remember correctly. And here we have Elementals, Stories of Fire and Ice by A.S. Byatt. And here we have Out There, Stories of Private Desires, Horror, and the Afterlife by Perry Brass. Another gay theme novel here, Foolish Fire by Guy Willard. Mysterious Skin by Scott Heim, a very disturbing book, if I recall correctly. And here we have Family Dancing by David Levitt. Here we have My Brother's Image by Mark Hamilton, a little uh, mass market paperback. The Tongues of Angels by Reynolds Price. The Year of the Hair by Arthur Pasilina. And I believe he's a Finnish author. Blue Heaven, a novel by Joe Keenan. You know, I forgot about Joe Keenan. I read quite a few novels by him and I really enjoyed them. Another Edmund White novel, A Boy's Own Story. And here we have Fairy Tales, Traditional Stories Retold by Gay Men by Peter Casciarelli. Let's Nothing You Dismay by Mark O'Donnell. This is a crazy little Christmas story which I also enjoyed. And The Driver's Affair by Peter Lefcour. Okay, now we move on to the second shelf. And here I have the Chronicles of Nick series by Cheryl and Kenyon. And the first book in the series is Infinity. Book two, Invincible. Book 3, Infamous. Book 4, Illusion. Book 5, Inferno. Book 6, Instinct. And Book 7, Envision. And I do believe there's another one coming out shortly, Book 8. And here we have a book I just received entitled The Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy by Mackenzie Lee. And uh, she is the author of The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue, which I absolutely adored. So I'm really looking forward to getting into this one as well. I haven't read it yet. Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. Venus as a Boy by Luke Sutherland. Another book that I need to get into. I was going to read this for a book, book fun some read of that, but I didn't get around to it. And it's a small little book, so I should be able to tear through it pretty quickly. I think it's about a guy who's turning to stone, and he uh, recounts his whole history. So it sounds intriguing. Hello, darling. Are you working? By Rupert Everett. And I remember this is a fun novel, one of those uh, novels full of zany characters again. And here we have a novel by Brandon Sanderson entitled The Rhythmatist, and this is his uh, middle grade novel. Okay, so here we have the first book in the Stormlight Archive by Brandon Sanderson, entitled The Way of Kings. Book two, Words of Radiance. And book three in the Stormlight Archive, Oathbringer. With uh, book four to be published whenever. This is another book that I just received recently, entitled Legion by Brandon Sanderson, which contains uh, his Legion stories. And now we have Brandon Sanderson's Reckoners series. So this is the first book, Steelheart. And this is one of those series where one of the book covers does not match the others in this series. But oh well. This is Mitosis. Not an official part of the series, but this is a, a novella between books one and two or two and three. I don't remember. I no longer remember. This is just an extra novella. Book two of the Reckoners series, Firefight. And book three of the regular series, Calamity, by Brandon Sanderson. And the last book I will show today is Skyward. And this is Brandon Sanderson's latest release and the start of a, a whole new series, which I'm looking forward to reading. I actually just finished reading the huge Mistborn trilogy. Yes, there's only three books, but very three, three very long books. So um, I'm probably not going to read any more Brandon Sanderson this year. Um, but I'll start back in next year. But yeah, so the Skyward, looking forward to it. So that is it for my bookshelf tour part four. <laughs> I'll be back with part five.
And uh, that's it for today. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all your support. And I will talk to you in the next video. Roger and out. Ooh.